Introducing the new Motorola Miniature 6 Fire Pager. It's the next generation of pagers from Motorola. The prices start at $369. That's for a one channel pager with stored voice, a vibrator, a standard charger, and a lithium ion battery pack. The pagers are available in a one or five channel model. All the pagers include 16 minutes of stored voice, a two year warranty from Motorola, and dedicated stored voice buttons on the front of the pager. The pagers have 10 tone sets and 5 long tones per channel. The pagers are water resistant with an IP56 rating. The pagers can be customized with personal alerts and voice announcements. The pagers are available in a standard version or in an intrinsically safe version. There is an optional battery tray where you can put disposable AAA batteries into the pager. One model of the VHF covers the entire band split from 143 MHz to 174 MHz. In the UHF there are three band splits. The most common, the one that you're likely going to use, is 450 to 486 MHz. The pricing for the Miniature 6 pagers are $369 each. That's for a VHF 143 MHz to 174 MHz. It includes a one channel with stored voice, the vibrator, standard charger, and a lithium ion battery pack. The five channel model is available for an extra $45. The intrinsically safe version is available for an extra $50. The amp charger is available for $85, although there are quantity discounts on the amp charger, so you may pay a lower price than that. The three and five year warranty is also an option. All of these prices are available on our website at pwservice.com or you can call us at 800-822-2180. Once you're on our website at pwservice.com you can navigate over to our Minute or Six page. On that page you'll find a instant quote form to use this form, you would fill out the quantity you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for 10 pagers. You would choose your frequency range, the number of channels, let's say five channels, the version of the pager, the standard version or the intrinsically safe, the type of charger, standard charger or the amp charger. Let's go ahead and choose the amp charger for this example. The type of warranty, three year, five year, if you needed any extras like a nylon case, an extra battery, a battery tray, or the programmer, let's go ahead and choose the programmer. It will then automatically calculate the total, including the pager, the options, and um, give you the grand total at the bottom, including the shipping. Once you have this quote form done, you can then print the page or you can email this quote. You can email it to yourself, for example. You could email it to a friend. Um, you can email it to anybody you wish. Uh, let's see how this print looks like. Once you go and click on print, it will load a new page where you can print off your quote. In this example, I'm going to cancel so you can see what's here. When you purchase new Minute or Six pagers, you have the option of trading in some of your old pagers. On our website we have a section that explains the trade-in program and let's go over that briefly. We accept Minuter 5 pagers as trade-ins towards a new Minuter 6. We give up to $85 per pager credit into your account. The program is a one-for-one one, which means if you buy 10 new Minuter 6's you can trade in 10 old pagers we don't accept 10 old pagers if you're just buying one or two new pagers. It's a one-for-one one, uh, trade-in program. There is a min minimum quantity of three pagers, so you would need to purchase at least three pagers before we would accept your trade-ins. We only accept trade-ins when you purchase the pagers at our normal published price. The 
pagers themselves have deductions based on what is wrong or not wrong with the pager. This is an example of the Minuter 5 trade-ins. The Minuter 5 VHF with stored voice are worth $85 a piece. The non-stored voice are worth $70. The standard charger adds an extra $5, so you could get a total of $90 for a trade-in. The amp charger adds $12. So again, you could get the pager plus the amp charger traded value of $97. There are deductions. Um, there's various deductions, and not all of them can be listed here, but most of the common ones are shown. Um, there's deductions for off-frequency bands, in other words, band splits that are not a common band split that people use. There's deductions for missing knobs, broken clips, broken housings, or if the pager is generally not working. The way the trade-in program works is you have two options when you're sending in your old pagers. You can send in your pagers before you purchase the new pagers, or you can send in your pagers after you purchase the new pagers. The advantage of sending in your pagers ahead of time is you know what the trade-in value will be. So you could, for example, send in a, to us 10 pagers and then order 10 new pagers and on the new order we'll deduct your trade-in value. The way it would work is we will give you a call and say how much your trade-in value is worth. If you accept the trade-in value we deduct that from your invoice. If you decline the trade-in value we send the pagers back to you. It's no charge, no charge for shipping, no charge for the evaluation. If you send in your pagers after purchasing new pagers, you have 14 days or two weeks from the date of the invoice, not the date you receive the new pagers, but the date we ship the new pagers to you. You have two weeks to get us your trade-ins. And what we would do is we would give you a call once the trade-ins arrive and tell you the value of the pagers. You would then either accept or reject the value that we offer. If you accept the value, we deduct it from your invoice and you would pay the invoice at the lower amount. If you reject the trade-in value, we send the pagers back to you. Again, there's no charge, there's no shipping. That's completely free should you decline the trade-in value. We also accept Minuter 3s and 4s, but because they're older pagers and they are wideband, we don't really value them very highly, so don't expect to get a whole lot for Minuter 3s and 4s, but we do accept 3s and 4s as trade-ins as well. Once you do receive the credit into your account, it goes against that invoice. We do not provide any cash payment for any trade-ins that you have sent in to us, so that would remain into your account. Um, you could use it against other future purchases. So for example, if we gave you a trade-in credit, but you paid the invoice in full, that credit would then go into your account and you could use the credit for anything. You could use the credit for a repair, you could use the credit for parts, batteries, radios, or anything else. 